Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for visiting me again. Today I'm gonna to be talking about falsies, how to apply false lashes, what glue to use, and what are the easiest ways and techniques to apply them. My first three tips to so people that are just starting to practice to mess with falsies, to see what they look like, to see what the right style of falsies is for them, definitely start with a brand of lashes that has a very flexible hold to it. For example, I have this package of Ardell lashes here, which are the ones that we're going to use today, coincidentally, to show you guys how to apply them. I don't know if you guys can see, but this band, it's very, very flexible. I mean, it stretches out, you can wiggle it around, it's not tough at all. The eyelash feels really natural, it's not tough, it's not fake, so to speak. Second tip is glue. So I use two types. I use the duo glue, which just looks just like this. And then I use the Ardell glue. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. Um, the duo is about double the price of the Ardell and I think that they do exactly the same. They both come in the color white. It's really completely personal preference if you wanna use a dark colored glue or white glue. Regardless, it's actually gonna dry once you apply the eyelash, so I mean, it really makes no difference. I personally believe and know that both of these glues last the same amount of time. It's just that this glue became popular a couple years ago when Kim Kardashian's makeup artist announced to the entire world that this is what he used to glue Kim's eyelashes on her and that's when this baby like boomed up in price. But honestly, if I tell you a little secret, this costs $4 and it lasts me all day. And this one, the duo one, I need to carry on with me like throughout the day because sometimes there are like patches where I'm like, oh my god, my eyelash is falling off. So just saying. If I were you, I would buy this one. But hey, again, total personal preference. All right, um, what is next? Let me just show you this because I've been, I feel like it's just staring at me and saying, talk about me. Look how cute this is. It's pink and he has a black bow on top. It is an eyelash holder. Is that like the best invention on the planet or what? How cute is this? Um, so it actually pulls your eyelashes so that just like that so that when you are done um with them your first hold or your first try you don't have to keep this plastic that it comes with that's like the best invention ever um i leave my eyelashes everywhere like in the car in my bathroom in my kitchen wherever i am and i decide that i'm just through with falsies i like take them off and i leave them there and then later on i think it's like a spider or something that freaks around i'm like oh they just my lashes come down more so you're fine um but anyway yeah so what else would i was gonna tell you guys i think that's pretty much it oh one more thing um i was on instagram a couple days ago and i saw one of the ladies that followed another makeup guru ask her hey blah 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 um i actually had a question should i put my makeup on before or after my lashes and the answer not only with makeup but i mean with anything else you're going to put on your eyes glitter eyeliner eyeshadow any type of makeup definitely do whatever you need to do before you put your eyelash on the eyelash should be the very very last step period i say the very last thing because that is the one thing that you should be scared of may fall throughout the day so the longer you wait to actually put it on the longer it's going to take to come off if that makes sense all right i'm going to stop rambling on and let's get started so again just look how cute he is i'm so obsessed and see i know that i was going to be obsessed with him so I bought two. Ha ha ha. All right. Sorry. I'm going to start rambling off the damn eyelash holder. All right. So let's take our eyelashes out from here. I am using this brand, the same Ardell brand, but instead of 105, I'm using the style called Wispies. Now, these are very similar to the House of Lashes brand that is only sold online and that's also where I got him from so just an FYI they're definitely a little more expensive but a lot of celebrities wear them and they're very durable I mean you can use them up to I've used them about like 15 maybe even 20 uses and they never go 
bad. They never mess up. They never do anything to themselves. It's a really, really durable brand. All right, so let's grab our eyelash just like this in between our fingers, if you can see that. We're gonna apply a thin layer of the Ardell glue. And I'm just doing this. Oop. Shake it out just a little bit. Very thin. I'm trying to make you guys see this. Very thin layer. I think that the most um, popular, well not popular, but the most mistake that everybody makes, or I guess, yeah, the most popular mistake that everybody makes is like drowning the eyelash in glue or not putting enough glue. Therefore, when you try to put the eyelash on, it's either not sticky enough or it's too sticky. You're going to let it dry for about 25 to 30 seconds. And while you're doing that, you can get your other eyelash prepared or you can just stare at yourself in the mirror and look beautiful or... But if not, let's just give it a little swoosh here. Now, something that I really do love about the Ardell brand and also the House of Lashes brand is that you don't need to cut them. Most of the eyelashes that you buy anywhere, you actually need to um, kind of try them on first and decide if they're going to fit you and if not you need to cut them with just a regular pair of scissors. That's probably going to happen to you like 90% of the time. But that's the reason why I love Ardell and House of Lashes so much because you don't. Alright, so now we're just going to pull our eyelid as close to our, oops, our eyelash line as possible. We're just going to stick them on there. We're going to make sure to pat them with our eye open so that we don't glue our eye shut. Sorry. I wish I had like a bigger mirror so I wouldn't be like so close and personal with you guys. Alright, but that's basically it. And I actually have the other eyelash put on the other side already. So that's actually what they look like. I definitely wouldn't fuss with them after you're done just because the glue takes just a little bit longer after you place them on your actual eyelid. So it's again personal choice if you want to run a coat of mascara on them. I personally don't because I think that eyelashes last longer if you don't mess with them. But if you want to put um, mascara on them to make them like extra sexy then go right ahead. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's really, really simple. And definitely before I leave you guys, let me just make a quick comment. Anything in regards to beauty or really anything that you're not an expert at, it's going to take practice and patience, ladies. So if you don't get it the first, second, third, fifth, tenth time, believe me, just have patience and you will get there. I think that when it comes to makeup, eyelashes, eyebrows, and eyeliner for myself were definitely the most difficult concepts to grasp. But after you get it done, I mean, eyelashes, I can do without looking at a mirror. That's how good I got, but I definitely didn't start out that way. So if you don't get it the first time, you can do it. I believe in you, and please, please let me know what other videos you want me to upload, and I will see you soon. Bye.